Hey guys, Technometry here with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the iPhone 10s Max with the iPhone 8 Plus in a head-to-head -head comparison. We're going to compare the hardware, the software, overall build of the phones, and the performance on iOS 14 between these two devices in 2021. We're going to compare all of that, whether you're upgrading from the iPhone 8 to the iPhone 10s Max, or you're looking to see what you can get between these two devices in 2021, and if either one is worth it or not. All of that and much more covered in this video. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you guys are in the market for a good phone, like one of these phones, or one of the newer phones at a discounted price, and not looking to pay the retail price, make sure you guys check out the link in the description section as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with today's video review for you guys so the iPhone 8 here we have on our side of it is released in in 2017 along with the iPhone 8 plus which probably is a better comparison for the 10s max because it's the bigger size one the iPhone 8 is the smaller one so if you're comparing the iPhone 8 a better comparison would be the iPhone 10s or the iPhone 10 because it is the smaller one but this video we just want to compare the size between these two phones and what you can really expect out of both of these two devices on the other hand iPhone 10s max here was released in 2018 so one year apart and a lot has changed it's a drastic change of the phone and that's why we're making this video for you guys and to start off let's take a look at the back of both of these two phones you'll notice between these two phones the iPhone 10s looking like a giant compared to the iPhone 8 in terms of the size difference between these two phones the other thing about it is the build material between these two phones. Both of the phones does have both front and back being all glass, which allows it to do wireless charging. The iPhone 8 lineup was the first time Apple moved into that all glass front and back, allowing the iPhones to be wirelessly charged. But the actual material build between these two phones are actually a different material. The iPhone 8 here has aerospace grade aluminum versus the iPhone 10s Max, which has stainless um, surgical grade stainless steel built to it and hence why things like the bezel you'll notice between the iPhone 10 iPhone 8 and the 10s is the iPhone uh, 10s here that we have max is brighter in terms of the bezel reflection whereas the iPhone 8 is more of a matte bezel of course if we hold them side by side we saw how big difference are in terms of the dimension of both of these just two phones besides that also notice on the 8 here is just one single 12 megapixel camera on the back where the iPhone 10 as Max here has dual 12 megapixel back camera and you'll notice that flash icon being right smack in the middle on the iPhone 10s so a redesign of that besides that the logo and the iPhone label is about the same and overall you'll notice between it not much going on between these two phones and let's talk about now the big big changes between these two devices that's something that it comes in when you look at the display you see the display on the 10s max is by far one of the biggest displays we've seen so far on the iPhone lineup compared to the 8. So the iPhone 8, for someone with smaller hand, it fits really well. As you can see, I have really smaller hand, it fits really well. If you have smaller hands with the iPhone 10s Max here, it's really uncomfortable. So if you have more on the medium to bigger hands, you probably want the Max because it sits well. But if you're looking for a smaller phone, sort of where the 8 comes in, and that kind of talks about the weight between these two phones the iphone 8 is around close to 150 grams versus the iphone 10x max which goes close to around just a little over or 200 grams almost 60 gram difference between both of these two phones heavier phones because of that bigger body and such and talking about the bigger body is the display between it let's talk about the display a little bit more in depth as you can see here the iphone 8 here that we have has a display of 4.7 so that's pretty much what Apple has in the past generation of a smaller size phone it's a 4.7 diagonal widescreen LCD display with IPS technology and has retina display and if you're comparing the actual uh, resolution you have 1334 by 750 pixel resolution at 326 ppi and a contrast ratio of about about 13 1400 to 1 contrast ratio and this is where the iPhone 
10s max comes in it has this new sort of technology screen on it on the phone is it has a 6.5 diagonal all screen oled super retina display compared to just a regular retina on it it has this hdr display and just phenomenal or increase in the in the pixel resolution you have 2688 by 4 by 1242 and a 458 ppi almost double in resolution compared to the iphone 8 and just that resolution is because of that oled and it also has a million to one compared to 1400 to one on the iphone 8 on it aside that both of the phones does have things like true tone white color display 3d touch well you'll notice between the phones and max brightness of 625 nit and talking about the oled a little bit more we want to talk about the price point between these two phones the iphone 8 here when you it was released in 2017 around that time frame it was just a little over 600 dollars or so where the iphone 10s max when it was released it was around 1099 and that's for the base model 64 gig which both of these phones have but if you're looking to go with the bigger storage configuration on these two phones the iphone 10s max as you can see we have the 256 gig that's a max you can get on the 8 though the 8 only goes up to 256 gig and the iphone 10s max here goes up all the way to 512 gig on this phone so if you're looking to really get the most out of your storage because if you take a lot of videos and photos the iphone 10s max is something you're going to be looking at and talking about the ad let's talk about the ip rating between that to both of these devices what can you expect well both of the phones are water resistant the only difference between is that the iphone 8 your table you're able to take under water up to one meter for 30 minutes compared to the iphone 10s max here where you're able to take it under water for about two meters so one meter two meter doesn't really matter well if either of the phones because they have front and back being all glass if anything is cracked or broken are going to be water compromised so that's something you do want to be careful and lastly let's talk about the battery life between these two phones what kind of battery life are you expecting out of both of these two phones well a couple of things here is that the iphone 7 that we have iphone 8 that we have here actually has a smaller battery it has a has a smaller battery compared to the iphone 10s max and one thing we talk about between these is that iphone 10s max has almost a 30 200 mAh battery because of that OLED it needs that extra bit of power and when it comes to extra bit of power we want to talk about the video playback between these two phones the iPhone 8 here gives you around 13 hours of video playback where on the iPhone 10s Max gives you 15 hours almost two hours different also although it has a huge battery compared to all the iPhone lineup that we see that OLED and that big display really takes a toll on the power that it consumes lastly we want to talk about the chip on both of these two phones what kind of chip do you have be on these two devices well between these two devices the iphone uh, iphone 8 here that we have has a 11 bionic chip that's with the first generation of neural engine and then a year later apple releases of course another step up in its chipset uh the a12 bionic chip with the second generation of neural engine that's something you start to notice when you're playing heavy graphic games that you normally don't play on i on smartphones but if something that's what you really do the iphone 10s max is where that really excels in and we really start seeing that being put to test on the iphone 10s max we have let's talk about the camera of both of these two phones as you know camera is an area where apple does not shy down it's something apple prides itself and what kind of camera will you get between these two phones a lot of similarity in this space of between these two phones but you'll notice on the iphone 8 here does not have portrait mode unlike the iphone 8 plus which does because of that only single camera on the back here it's not able to support that unfortunately it does have the square mode feature which the iphone 10s max doesn't have another thing we want to talk about between these two phones or its video recording capabilities both of the phones are actually able to record from 720 H hd all the way to 4k at 60 frames per second but with the iphone 10s max because of that second camera 
on the back as we've seen here it's able to do extended dynamic range for videos that are recording at 30 frames per second and it also has optical zoom which is not possible on the iphone 8 with that single camera of two times the optical zoom on it and it also has studio oh, studio grade stereo recording on the iphone 10s max so a couple improvements of the camera nonetheless you're missing the portrait mode which we wish the iphone 8 has surprisingly even with the single camera the new iphone se 2020 edition that came out is able to take portrait mode photo which we wish apple did add that on the iphone 8 but it doesn't and let's talk about the last aspect of this video is the software between these two phones both of the phones are supported on ios 14 we updated both of the phones as you can see slightly different updates but they're the same updates and you miss things between these two phones of course there's some improvements of face id but with the iphone 8 you have the touch id which if you like the touch id it gives you that haptic feedback between the, these two phones but besides that both of the phones are phenomenally run well on things like social media your entertainment apps if you're watching netflix of course watching videos like netflix and youtube hulu or any things like that the, all of your video streaming apps on the iphone 10s max is just better because of that bigger display it's just so much better you get like photo of that tablet like feel to it unlike the iphone 8 which really looks really small in terms of if you're used to more of a person using for it to watch shows and videos you probably want the iphone 10s max but besides that things like gaming the one thing we're going to mention is that if you're really going heavier gaming the iphone 10s max is where it's at because it's able to support those graphic heavy games but lighter gamings like temple run surfer, surfer snake all of these smaller games that don't really require heavy intensive io oh and the graphics you'll probably be fine with the iphone 8 here and between these two phones let's talk about ios update what can you expect out of these two phones well the iphone 8 we expect it to get another another were two years or so worth of updates so we might see ios up to 16 supported on the iphone 8 but the iphone 10s max for sure we're probably going to see another three years or so on it so one more year probably because of those release date apple usually tends to stop the update around the four to five year mark so a little bit more out of the software updates because software updates is really important for apps because once a phone stops getting the update what happens is that major apps do not support the phone anymore and the hardware becomes obsolete and lastly between these two phones why might you get one or the other when a comparison well let's talk about the iphone 8 why might you get the iphone 8 well there's a couple of reasons for getting the iphone 8 in 2021 first thing is that it has sort of that um, fingerprint scanner to it it has the ips rating to it it has 60 gram lighter between the iphone 10s max it, has, it is thinner of course so if you're looking for a small phone the iphone 8 is where it's at and the other thing to mention is the budget friendliness of it right now you can probably score iphone 8 if you're buying it pre-owned under 200 dollars compared to the iphone 10s max which is around four under 450 to 500 dollars depending on where you look at it so almost double or triple the price that you pay between these two phones but with the triple the price comes a lot of feature pack things for example it has around 1.7 more battery power and of course that oled display gives it almost 40 percent higher pixel density to it it gives you around 3.34 higher resolution compared to the iphone 8 that's because of the oled bigger body bigger or, or display just a lot more going on and the chip the cpu on the iphone 6 iphone 10 iphone 10 s max when you look at it it's around a little over six percent faster cpu when you do some comparison and it has four gigs of ram compared to the iphone iphone 8 here which has two gigs of ram so those kind of things really matter when you start getting into gaming you really want to look at those unique features of it and of course the iphone 10s max here does give you a max storage for 512 gig which is impossible on the iphone 8 so a lot of features between it and of course with the improvement of the camera things like portrait mode which you looked at 
is supported, not supported on the iPhone 8. And kind of concludes why the iPhone XS Max pretty much goes pretty similar to the Pro Max right now, which are going for almost $1,200. So you're getting the phone at the fraction of the cost, even though it's not budget friendly in some ways, you get pretty much all of the features that you get on the latest flagship phone. Like the only thing probably missing from the 12 lineup that's not available on the XS Max is probably like 5G and just slight improvement, incremental improvement of chip. So there you guys have it, our comparison and why you might buy one or the other. Hopefully this video is helpful. If this video is helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And we also want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think between these two phones? If you're either using either of the phones or upgraded from one to another, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.